everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in last video we have learned how to configure notification in android uh, using react native so we have we are using uh, firebase for creating the notification and uh, in last video we had uh, trigger notification when our application is uh, uh, running in background state or you can say when our application is in minimized state so we are able to uh, get the notification in this video we'll cover how to get notification when our application is running at foreground state so uh, for android uh, like whenever uh, notification receive when uh, our application is running at foreground state uh, we have to just create a local notification and all of the property like uh, title body or data we have to get from uh, the notification uh, uh, that we uh, receive so uh, what we are going to do we are going to just create a channel and then after I am going to create a local notification which hold all of uh, the property uh, that we get from the notification. So let's uh, start. So there I am going to create a just comment like uh, first I need to create a channel. Uh, let me maximize the screen. So this will be uh, visible clear to you and uh, I think it should be fine so for create channel I'm gonna click an arrow function that will be hold reference to create uh, channel it equal to something like an arrow function okay now uh, I'm gonna use here const uh, channel and uh, this should be equal to new firebase make sure uh, you import the firebase from uh, react native firebase library that we had installed in previous video and firebase dot uh, notifications dot uh, android dot uh, channel inside channel i'm gonna use a uh, uh, channel id and for channel id for now I'm gonna pass a simple string and then I'm need I need a channel name then next thing I need firebase uh, dot uh, notifications dot uh, Android and now I have to set the importance so I'm gonna set importance importance dot max that's all uh, now I need to set the description for the channel so set description inside it I'm gonna just pass uh, description here that's all uh, for creating the channel and then now after uh, we had uh, the reference of our channel variable this one and uh, I, what I need to do I need to uh, create the channel so I'm gonna use firebase dot notification this should be a method and I'm gonna use uh, Android dot uh, uh, create channel inside it I'm gonna pass the reference of uh, channel here so save this one now uh, where I took call the create channel method I'm gonna uh, call it inside the component did mount uh, first uh, set up the local uh, notification as well so let's uh, let me give another command for uh, okay, foreground notifications this should be an uh, error function as well so uh, for this I'm going to use a const uh, notification listener because it will now listen notification uh, when we uh, when we receive a notification uh, while our application is running at a foreground state so it should be an arrow function and inside it I'm going to use uh, firebase this should be firebase dot uh, notifications and uh, this is our method I'm going to use on notification and inside it I'll receive notification I'm going to use an arrow function for this 
and for uh, like uh, I have to uh, set up local notification for uh, the Android so here I'm gonna write the check like if uh, platform make sure you import platform from uh, react native so platform dot os triple equal to android then uh, it will gonna create local notification so for this i'm gonna uh, create uh, another variable const uh, local notification equal to something new firebase dot uh, notifications dot uh, notification this one now inside it I have to uh, uh, use a uh, sound and for sound I'm gonna uh, give value to the default it should be default and next thing uh, I have to use a boolean key value for so in foreground so show underscore in underscore uh, foreground for this I'm gonna pass the value to you now after uh, this uh, we have uh, some props uh, for for one notification uh, I have to set uh, the ID or uh, uh, title body for uh, local notification so there I'm gonna use dot uh, set notification ID inside it I'm gonna pass the reference of notification dot uh, notification ID then similarly I'm, I'm gonna use a set uh, title inside it I'm gonna pass the reference of uh, notification dot uh, title similarly same thing I'm gonna use for subtitle or uh, data so just use notification dot uh, subtitle or uh, set body inside it notification dot uh, body and uh, set uh, data inside it i'm going to use a uh, notification dot uh, data then after uh, do after complete all of things uh, i need to pass the channel id so there yeah, i have to use dot uh, android dot uh, set channel id and inside it i'm gonna pass the simple string as i'm using the above uh, while I, I create the channel i'm gonna use just simply here channel id same string here then after i have to uh, set the priority so i'm gonna use android dot uh, uh, set priority and inside it i'm gonna use uh, firebase dot uh, notifications dot uh, android dot uh, priority and i'm going to use high priority for this so save this one now uh, i had uh, local notification configuration of local notification now i need to display uh, this local notification so what i need to do just press enter and i'm going to use uh, firebase dot uh, notifications this should be a method dot uh, display notification and inside it i have to pass the reference of uh, local notification and then after uh, dot catch uh, if there are any exception occur then it will gonna catch it and console uh, dot log e double r that's all now uh, we have our channel and notification listener and now I'm gonna use just to use effect make sure import to use effect from uh, react so inside the use effect I'm gonna use it uh, as a component did mount so I'm gonna just pass uh, empty square bracket uh, first one I'm gonna call the create channel method and then after I'm gonna use uh, the notification listener method so that's all uh, we had done or oh, everything that we need so Next thing, uh, like uh, before, uh, move on, make some configuration in your Android manifest XML for foreground notification. As uh, you can simply post the video and uh, copy all of uh, these slides for foreground notification. Make sure you are writing inside your application tag here and uh, just before closing of application tag. Uh, there what, uh, what I'm using, uh, first one I'm using service for uh, RN Firebase messaging service 
then uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm using a uh, RN Firebase instance uh, instance ID service. Then for the receiver, I'm using a uh, RN Firebase notification receiver or uh, RN Firebase notification reboot receiver. And also, uh, the following intent filter I'm using for boot completed, quick boot, uh, or uh, uh, category default. So you need to just uh, grab uh, all of these line in your code. So let's see will it work or not uh, just uh, run your application using npm run android and uh, move to your firebase account just create a new notification let me give it uh, some title i'm gonna use uh, test3 and uh, i'm using test home.push notification review this and publish there you can see I had received notification uh, while our application is running at foreground state. Let me create another one notification. Let uh, uh, give it title uh, uh, foreground uh, and uh, notification test text should be foreground notification. That's all. And uh, I have to select the target. For a target, I'm going to select the app and just review this. Publish. There you can see I had received foreground notification. Uh, now uh, you will uh, wonder like uh, why I'm not uh, receiving the app name or title because I'm using the uh, emulator and if you gonna run it inside an actual device so you will able to uh, see your application icon or application uh, name on uh, the notification like uh, if I just uh, I press uh, the notification long press you can see i have uh, our application icon and uh, or uh, our application name here as well similarly you can see here so if you gonna run it on uh, the uh, actual device uh, or physical device you can say so you will able to see the title and icon of the notification so that's all for this video in next video we'll see how can we send notification to specific device or how can we send notification to all of device at a time so thanks for this video if you uh, enjoy the video please uh, like the video and if you are new then subscribe the channel